he is Robin who's come from Germany uh, to help us and I asked Robin tell us what exactly do you do uh, here at Rizoma? Um, at the moment I do two things uh, I'm involved in improving the search and also I'm at the moment writing an article about the overall architecture so that uh, you guys can understand what our code looks like and what Rizoma is like uh, behind the scenes. So you're saying that we that now we don't understand? You understand, <laughs> but the public doesn't. And so we, so I write this article for the public so that they can uh, understand it as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you've been here like, for how long? Um, now like 12 days. Here. For 12 days. And you understand the architecture well, don't you? You have uh, interviewed like the lead developers and they've told me what the architecture is like and that's how I got to know it. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell me more about the search. Um, yeah, the search at the moment we have a small problem that uh, when you write something new it takes some time until you can find it. And so we were um, evaluating alternatives. How can we make this faster so that you can find it instantly once you've entered something that directly you can search for it. However, at the moment it looks like um, we won't do this right now because it's too complicated and the uh, advantage is not uh, big enough. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And uh, as I know, generally uh, your specialization mm -hmm. is something that is concerned with brain control. Um, Can you tell me more about that? It's not uh, my specialization, but it's one of the areas that I work uh, at in Germany. And um, what I do there at the moment is that our university is doing a lot in the area of brain-computer interfaces. So that's devices that uh, let you basically talk directly through your thoughts with your computer. And, okay, um, without speaking anything? Without speaking anything, just by measuring your brain activity. Like do you need to connect wires or it's like wireless? Uh, there's wireless and wired solutions but we're looking at the wireless solutions and um, yeah we're just uh, starting right now the chair that I'm working at is just uh, starting to do research in this area and so I asked them if I can join them and uh, help them as well and they said yeah and so we're just at the moment starting out trying out different technologies what works what doesn't work and um, okay. yeah well, so what has been achieved so far in this field? Like, is it possible to think, like, yeah, play that video, uh, and computer will play it? Yeah, that, that's possible, but that's not even so difficult. What is really interesting, I think, is uh, if you can control movements. That's really one of the big goals, is uh, if you have somebody that can't move his body anymore, that he can maybe uh, control either his own body or some other device through his thoughts. And that's much more complicated because you can move this way, that way, any way. It's not just like five commands, but it's a three-dimensional problem. And um, yeah, there is the area where a lot of research is done at the moment and where it's just um, yeah, slowly moving ahead that you can control it better and better. But how far uh, we will come, it's not, uh, not clear yet, of course. Yeah. Well, sounds really exciting. Yeah, it's a fascinating area and it's a one that is a lot of research at the moment and a lot of people are doing something, so uh, I thought, okay, I'll try to get into this area and find out if I can contribute as well. Yeah. Okay, right, so can you tell me, uh, please, how did you get involved in Rizoma? Um, mainly through a friend. Um, he's a close friend to uh, yeah, one of the founders and uh, a lot of the people who work here. and. Um, through him I got to know the team and the project and um, we asked uh, together if we can help as well and uh, yeah, that's how we got involved, that's how I got involved. So well. what do you think about Rizoma? Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. It's, I think it's a very uh, useful thing if you uh, want to um, do research or in general organize some knowledge that you have um, because you have this kind of um, ways of organizing it uh, in a nested way in structures where you have like your topic and your subtopic and they're nicely nested so that you can really organize everything and change it all the time and at the same time do it with other people as well. So I think it has some core features that are really, really uh, helpful and useful for organizing knowledge. And um, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I like about it actually. That's how I use it personally as well a lot and also with other people. Yeah. Okay, so I think 
now since you get got used to Rizoma, mm -hmm. you can use it for your research projects. I do actually. Future. I do actually. I, I already do. I already uh, use it for uh, this brain interface uh, project as well, where I just try to get, uh, yeah, to get a feel for the area, to know uh, what is uh, important in this area and what are the techniques and the algorithms and everything. And there, I really use Rizoma a lot to just. Uh, capture everything that maybe this may be interesting to read and this uh, is important and uh, okay. yeah there I use it a lot actually. But do you use it on your own or with a team? Uh, both. I use it on my own for some personal stuff where I just um, yeah want to remember something just for myself but I also use it in a team where I do some research and then I present them and say here you can see it there and you can edit it as well if you want and um, yeah so yeah, I've already introduced it to others as well. Okay, great. Mm. Okay, Robin, thank you for in the interview. Thank you. thank you for coming here and helping us out. Thank you for having our project. Me. Cool. Thank you. Nice. Robin, okay. Robin, you are cool. <laughs> really cool. <laughs>